Hey, what do you think you're doing? What am I doing that is wrong? Sir, you're holding a gun. Seriously, I thought you would know this by now. You don't deserve your job. Know what? That all of you have the right to own a gun. What? In what law does it say that you have the right to own a man-killing weapon? Come on, look in the Second Amendment of the Bill of Rights. It reads, the right to bear arms, a well-regulated militia, being necessary to security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. I'm sorry, but could you define that more clearly? That basically means that all people are allowed to own guns for protection of their own state. As long as they are very responsible and practice caution with the weapon. Also, the law can't be kept from any citizen. Why was this amendment made? Why do I need to answer that? What I will answer it anyways. To answer sudden invasions, the government felt that the army might use military force to oppress the people. I understand now. Have a good day. Philip gets into his car and begins to drive home, but he goes over the speed limit. What the heck? 120 miles per hour. Looks like it's time to do my job. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Do you know how fast you were going? Yes, 65 miles per hour. May I see your driver's license? Right here. I see. Sir, can you please explain what I did wrong? Philip Ma, I tracked you to be going around 120 miles per hour. <laughs> Philip Ma, I would like you to sign here. If you do not decide to appear in court, there will be a fine. How much? $100. Huh? What the heck? That's so much money. I need to go to court. <sighs> Alright, I'll just go to court. Okay, I'll be seeing you in court. Philip is heads home and proceeds to hire an attorney, and the attorney's name is Romeo. Hello, is this Romeo? I'm in a bit of a situation, I need a good attorney. Will you take my case? Sure thing, Philip. I'll need time to look over the details. <laughs> Finally got a case. One month later, Philip goes to court with his new attorney, Romeo, and the judge is Judge Manbowles. Hello everyone, I am Judge Manbowles. Uh, we are talking about the case where Philip Moss supposedly drove over the speed limit. Our prosecutor is Jacob Blue. Jacob, you may present your case. On the freeway, he had been driving over the speed limit, where the speed limit was 65 miles per hour, but he drove 120 miles per hour. Philip, may I ask why you have a, a defense attorney here? Isn't that against the law? My name's Romeo. No, the Sixth Amendment states that Philip has the right to a defense attorney. How do you not know this? This is one of the most important rights of an accused individual. <laughs> Romeo, calm down. Did Juliet kill herself again? Everybody calm themselves. The court shouldn't have personal attacks or be biased. Okay. F first, let me ask Philip some questions. When you were driving, did you know how fast you were going? Yes. I saw from my car that I was driving 65 miles per hour. While you were driving, did you pass under any other cars while driving on the freeway? Yes, I passed them really easily. Philip realized he said the wrong thing. At this point, Philip realized he messed up. Philip pulls out sleeping gas and knocks everyone out. Then, Philip kills Jacob with a knife using Romeo's hand and puts it in Romeo's pocket and falls asleep from the gas. After 30 minutes, a fellow police officer walks into the room. This police officer's name is Officer Gone. Some time passes and Philip is a main suspect for the crime. Here we have a new judge, Judge Kagayama. And Philip is here and visiting to get bail in preparation for the upcoming trial. Hello Philip, have you come to tell me something? I would like to be on bail. I don't want to stay in jail to wait for my trial. Okay Philip, how about your bail costs? One billion dollars. What? No way! Huh? I'm sorry, but I'm the judge. What? Wow. You can't do that under the Eighth Amendment, which states that excessive bail shall not be required, nor excessive fines imposed, nor cruel and unusual punishments inflicted. 
Oh my goodness, I did not realize, but why was this amendment made? I will make your bail $300. This amendment was created so that no human needs to suffer excessively. It would just be cruel. Anyways, that's better. Thanks. A month passes by and then the court trial commences. Hello everyone, I am Judge Kageyama, and today we are discussing the matter on what occurred last month. Philip Ma had been tried for speeding. However, when we entered the room, we had saw that there was sleeping gas and that police officer Jacob Blue had been killed. Now we will decide if anyone is guilty or not guilty. A witness, police officer Gone, had only come in when the action had occurred. Our prime suspect is Philip. Wait a minute. Hey, why is no one except here watching? Where's the public? I've decided I do not want the public watching this trial. Hey, you're not allowed to do that. In what law? Oh my gosh. Look at the Sixth Amendment, would you? It says, in all criminal prosecutions, the accused shall enjoy the right to a speedy and public trial. Why should there be a law for that? There is a law for that because if no one was here, all sorts of bad things could happen to people and not one person would know. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Well then, the trial will be delayed 30 minutes while I open this room up to the public. After 30 minutes, the trial finally begins. Ahem. So, I'm sorry we had a little delay. I will restate what this trial's focus is. We are holding a trial for an incident that took place last month. Sleeping gas had filled the room while the trial was in session for Philip Ma's speeding infraction. By the time Officer Gunn had walked into the room, everyone was knocked out and Jacob Blue was bleeding to death. Philip Ma is our prime suspect. First, let me ask Police Officer Gunn some questions. When you first went into the room, what did you see? Philip, are you allowed to question the witness? I don't think you're allowed to. Yes, I am allowed to question all the witnesses. It says so in the Sixth Amendment that I have the right to prod the witnesses with questions for a fair trial. Okay, I wrote this on a report. When I walked in, I saw everyone on the floor unconscious and Jacob bleeding to death. Did you see what weapon killed Officer Jacob? No, not until after the crime scene. All I saw was blood, which was Jacob's. No weapon or anything around him which could have killed him. Thank you, Officer Gone. Now I'd like to ask Romeo some questions. What was the last thing you remembered? I remember seeing gas suddenly appear and a silhouette appear in the smoke. Before I could see anything else, I fainted. Your Honor, as you can see, both witnesses do not seem to remember much and probably didn't kill Officer Jacob. Now we will have to see our prosecutor, Hinata. Your Honor, I believe Romeo killed Jacob. Me? Do you have any evidence? Yes, please show exhibit 3. You see, from this picture, we see that in Romeo's pocket, I found a knife with Jacob's blood and Romeo's fingers print on it. This obviously shows that Romeo has committed a crime. Exhibit 3 is taken out, and it shows a picture of Romeo holding a knife in his pocket. What? I would never commit such a deed. Wow, this is some solid evidence. I have decided, Romeo, you are guilty of this crime. For a felony that involved the intended death of a police officer, Jacob Liu, your sentence is lifetime torture. What the? By the Eighth Amendment, I'm not allowed to have an unreasonable or unusual punishment inflicted on me. <laughs> Fine. Your sentence is to be put in jail for 50 years. That ought to teach you a lesson. What? Let me explain. I would never do this. I would never dare to. I would... <laughs> Police officers take Romeo away from the courtroom while Romeo is struggling to stay. Um, Judge Kageyama, by the way, I committed to crimes. What? Then you are guilty! I changed my mind! You can't do that. By the Fifth Amendment, it states that it protects citizens from double jeopardy. Um, what's that? It means that a person who is tried for a crime and found not guilty cannot be tried again for the same crime. This means that I can't go to court on this matter again and that I am free. I'll have no charges against me. What? But why? Isn't it clear that? Why would they have a law for that? Double Jeopardy is here so that we don't have to go through this grueling process of beginning a trial to finish. Also, would it make sense to do the same thing twice? So sad, too bad. It turns out I win after all. I guess I'm a free man. See you later. Bye.